And we are recording now. Okay, so welcome everyone to this virtual interim meeting uh, of the core working group. I am Marco Tiloka, my co-chair is Jaime Jimenez. And as usual, this is an official ITF meeting, so the not well applies. So be sure you're familiar with it. If you're not already, uh, it's not just about IPR and patents, also about code of conduct. So be nice with each other. And let's say the agenda for today is about mostly three items. Um, the href document, mostly the status of implementation for better understanding uh, of what encoding to use and a corner case that was found about authority-less schemes. Uh, the SendML data CT document for which we got a PR from Karsten and the status check of the core comp documents. Anyone wants to bash this agenda or add any more item? No, okay, then we can start with the first item on Karsten, href. So I'm hearing my name, I just came to the keyboard. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> uh, to cover the first item, href. <laughs> right. Okay, essentially the the, main information is in uh, Christian's, uh, oh, Christian is not here. He's not going to attend this meeting. Oh, great. <laughs> um, yeah, so Christian says he likes it, and so I think we are done. Is that all I need to say? Well, maybe I remember you were also implementing it. Yes, and I'm still not done with it. It's, uh... <sighs> so there, there's nothing that I really can add at this point in time. Okay, it would be good to have your implementation also done and, and checked against Christians, yes. for instance. <laughs> um... Hank and Klaus were also very much involved into this discussion. What, what about your side? Uh, explicit to the state of the uh, uh, air quotes air href document, right? That's yeah. What asking. Yeah, I, I don't see any uh, uh, blockers here to, for proceeding. If there are any, the process will show. So I think we should we can move on. So you support basically the so-called option three. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, yeah. That, is, that was a trick. Yeah, so I was not voting for option. I think my vote is clear. And um, if I don't see it before my mental, it's the one or two based option, which was I think three and close edit for it was three, but I can't tell from the memory alone, to be honest. Right? Or am I confusing things here? The option three thing was confusing to me right now. Your voice was breaking up a bit, but basically oh. option three was the, the tweet array syntax that was proposed also at the previous meeting. And it's in the- Yeah, we have four content. proposals at the last meeting. So I'm confused now. Do you mean the list of four proposals? The fourth proposal or option four is the in-memory approach. Exactly. Yeah. So my opinion on that has not changed, if that is the question. I, I had it last now. I have to try to connect if my sound is bad. Uh, Klaus? Yeah, I think the the this proposal um, needs a bit more verification. So we have uh, one GitHub I issue, for example, on um, the equivalence of the of the three nine eight six algorithm 
and, and uh, our own reference resolution algorithm. But I guess that uh, Karsten is taking care of that. And if then all that matters is Christian's opinion, then I'm shutting up now. Yeah, Christian wanted also to cover with this implementation, both approaches to have also better opinion. Okay, so we need to wait for more feedback from implementation then. Can you click on issue 77? Yes. Uh, Karsten, did you want to say anything on this issue? Yeah, so um, I think he says he, he likes the result. Uh, there was a last uh, minute surprise on authorityless schemes, and that's exactly why we have to, to check this. And I hope I won't uncover more uh, surprises, uh, but I think that's uh, what we can go uh, into 111 with. Okay, thank you. And actually, another sub point about uh, all this was exactly this corner case on authority less scheme. Uh, I remember from a previous design meeting you wanted to check RFC 8089 to have a better opinion. Anything to bring up about that? Still on my to do list, right? <laughs> okay. Anything more on this item? Yeah, we basically need more feedback from implementations. Uh, then we can move to the next item, which is send the mail data city and Karsten again and uh, your PR. Yes, so I, I went ahead and extracted the material that um, is needed from the, the various uh, RFCs, put it together into one uh, piece of ABNF and added that um, uh, to the draft. And I think that works. So I, I did some checking against errata. I probably need to uh, continue that a little bit. Uh, but I haven't found anything in the writer that um, will, would down there in the ABNF. Karsten, sorry, can you repeat your last one or two sentences? Your voice disappeared. Um, yes, I'm having these uh, 10 second telecom outages here. Um, so, uh, to the restricted name ABNF rule. Carson, your outages are really, really hitting your heart. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Um, so it's on my, my yeah, to do list to fix it. Nothing conveyed. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that, that's the definition from uh, HTTP that defines tokens, which are the things that go into parameters. And the next slide, uh, the, the next page, page down, <laughs> there is something called restricted name, which is defined in the, the media type RFCs, which is almost but not entirely unlike a token. And that is the thing that goes uh, to the left of the semicolon. So th this is ugly, but I think it's just the way it is and we are not out there to change that. Um, so I just copied over the uh, ABNF. I think the, the, the ABNF could be done in a better way, but I really just wanted to copy it over. 
And that should be all we need to finish this specific uh, document. Okay. Uh, yeah, I had a look at your PR in detail. It looks good to me, by the way. So you got an appeal also from Ari. Yeah, Ari didn't check the ABNF, but really because that is just copied. Um, yeah, famous last words. It should work well. Just one detail. You are pointing to this um, ABNF definitions uh, earlier in the document, of course, but uh, is it worth to mention uh, earlier in the body exactly content format spec? I think it's not done, but just for readability. Yeah. Um, now that, that could be editorial improved a little bit. Well, I've been uh, struggling with what should be called what uh, here. So I, I came up with content format number, which is the thing that is defined in, in 7252. Just needs a um, string representation and content format string, which is the, the new thing. And um, then the the union between the two, the uh, choice between the two is the content format spec. And there's also some text that explains how you manage the ambiguity uh, here. Um, so like in many other documents, you have to actually read the ABNF as a peg um, if you are just relying on the ABNF as a parsing expression. Uh, grammar, or you can just read the text that is uh, uh, up there if you have a plain vanilla ABNF. Yeah, I think that the names are fine. Um, I was just thinking of actually using content format spec uh, earlier in the yeah. document because it's not. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, that could be done. Okay, and um, I suppose you expect a resubmission before Monday, including this. Hello. I said yes, but oh, Telegram right. swallowed it. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, uh, then we come up to the next and what looks like last item: uh, the overall status of the core comp documents, because um, well, few of them uh, moved forward recently. So I think Karsten, you can take that too. Yes, so um, the the core Yang Siba and core Sid uh, documents have the the changes that were um, necessary, and they are currently in state waiting for AD go ahead. I'm I'm a little bit uh, um, uh, it's a bit, little bit difficult with data tracker right now because that that seems to manage those states in a weird way. Uh, so I'm not sure that Francesca actually got the, the message that this has uh, happened. But since she's there, she might be able to tell us. Yeah, I got the message and I got uh, uh, emails about it and I can fix the... Are you talking about like the action holder thingy? Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, let me just check. So I think the next step is actually getting this on IntelliJet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to check the, I will probably check with the shepherd to to make sure that everything was addressed. Uh, but I can fix the action holders to, to make sure that it's just me so that I remember. But when it's AD follow up, then I know that it's me. Okay. So no worries about that. Uh, on Yang Sibor, I can mention as Shepard anyway that the write up was updated to the last version 16. Great. Yeah, that's uh, the ASG appreciates when the Shepard write ups is up to date with the document. Um, but yeah, let, let me just take a look while we are in the meeting and come back if Great. I have any more. Comments. So I can talk about the, the next two uh, documents. And one is called Komai, and um, we have uh, two construction sites here. We have a number of editorial issues that were part of my Shepard report when I, I think I'm still Shepard of these documents, am I? Or did, did yes. you? Yeah, you are. Okay. Um, so um, 
there, there is an email message actually from February that summarizes where we are uh, with this. This is linked here. And we, we need to, to address those. I think there is no blocker. This, this is just a task, a, a work that needs to be done. Uh, and there is an open question, which is uh, um, uh, in that other mail message. And if you can link on the page 14 uh, link, if you can click on the page 14 link. So just to, to jog people's minds what the issue is, can you make it a little bit larger? OK, so the, the uh, issue here is that um, when you are actually building a request in Komai with um, the the mapping just went away. Um, the the mapping um, actually. It depends on the base Yang data type. And we had a, a extensive discussion over in, in NetConf uh, whether that, that actually is, is uh, possible. Uh, and uh, the, the tentative result was, yes, we can essentially attach different semantics to different Yang base data types. So the, the content of this table is consistent, is it, it, it is uh, possible consistent with the, the current interpretation of uh, Yang, uh, but it still is a little bit of a surprise for, for an implementer because uh, when you say you want uh, Ethernet interface four, um, that looks different uh, uh, dependent on whether the Yang specification said uh, Ethernet interfaces are always non-negative, or whether it says they can also be negative. Um, so that that's the part that that I found weird when doing the the Shepard report, and so far we haven't found out why we are doing this. Um, so in the end, I would expect that uh, we we simplify this a little bit, have fewer cases, so uh, implementers will be less surprised. Uh, by by um, uh, the influence that the specific underlying young data type, type has on the syntax of the query. And th that requires input from from the the original authors, which which are a little bit uh, difficult to reach at this time. So that's where we are with core Comi. So is there anybody in the room who cares about these UI query components? So this is Hank. Um, this might be an inspiration how to deal with these URI query items in general in other domains when we talk about Yang. Uh, Co-op observe telemetry for Yang for Yang push and want to adopt it. So yeah, I care a bit, but um, I am not so surprised. So maybe I'm not one of the barriers of concern here, I assume. <laughs> so, but yeah, that is in, in, in theory, you could do all this um, um, extended query content in the URI itself. And that helps. I guess. So I, I'm neutral. I don't see this as a, a surprising blocker even for implementers, but, but maybe I'm I, I am not the wrong person to comment on that actually then. Oh, and how was my audio? Is that, am I still breaking up? Not right now. You're good now. You're doing now. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I did a, did a complete restart of tablet and headset that typically fixes everything. <laughs> yeah, so th this is uh, not 
very satisfying state, but uh, we need to free ourselves uh, of this and uh, uh, find the answer to, to the question, why is it that way? And uh, if, if the answer is we seriously don't know, then maybe we can just fix it. So that's Komai. And uh, finally, the Yang library. Uh, that, that is a little bit of a, it, it's a document that you look at when you have all your other things in order, uh, because it's uh, just a cleaned up version of the IETF uh, Yang library uh, that, that doesn't have all the, the complexity that a full Yang implementation needs to describe itself. Uh, so this this is a reduced self description uh, of of a Yang uh, server, and uh, since all the discussions we are having uh, kind of can have an influence on how the self description uh, looks like, uh, we probably will finish this document uh, last, or probably uh, together with Komai because Komai is is currently uh, holding up uh, th these last two documents. Thank you, Karsten. And we are at the end of agenda, actually. Is there any other business anyone wants to raise? And this was the last interim before ATF uh, 111, by the way, where we meet for a two hour session on Wednesday, uh, 28. And then we plan to resume the interim meetings in uh, September. Uh, of course, still alternating with Seaboard. Uh, we'll start using Miteco, and the target is the same day of the week, same time. So, Francesca, are you? Did you find out yet where we are? Yeah, um, I was just looking at this uh, Ayana. So, for the draft IFTF course, Sid. So, so basically, okay. So the summary is, um, I was waiting for an update uh, following uh, Evilo answers. Uh, I checked these answers to me and they look good. Uh, so I assume that that's fine. There was no answer from Xu Feng for the young doctors. Um, so I assume that he doesn't have any problem with uh, the author's answer. Um, and then I could see this um, comment from the uh, co-op content formats expert. Uh, I don't know if they are on the call, uh, but my, I'm not sure if you have uh, uh, addressed that. So let me just. So I think we, we addressed that. The, the last remaining item was that, oh, what was it? There was something that is redundantly repeated in that was redundantly repeated in the previous document and probably shouldn't be because redundancies always tend to diverge mm -hmm. at some point. And I think I fixed that, but I... okay. I'll copy paste this note in the chat so that you know what I'm talking about. Um Yeah, so we we did the whole media types part, um, and and that that was a pretty good wake up call. So thank you, Klaus, for that. Um, and uh, that that should be done now. So so um, I would expect that uh, Ayana at some point has okay. looked at this. Does this have a does the current document have an Ayana OK on it? Um. Actually, since uh, the submission of version 16, then it's a review needed. Okay. From Ayana, not okay. So this is from 24th of June, so something like a couple of weeks. Yeah. But I, I guess there will be a, a, a re-review when I push it forward to the telechat. Um, I assume. I don't really know. Okay, and the the other ones are references, and I think we fixed that. Yes, 
just checking. Uh, yeah, I mean, version, version changed, but I don't know if the previous one was Ayana OK. No, it could not if, have been, 15 could not have been Ayana OK because okay, yeah, it was the, not the okay. problem that, that Klaus found definitely mm -hmm. was there. OK. But I don't have a comment on this one. I only have yeah. the, yeah. The SIT draft should now have a green light or should have it soon. And for the young Seaboard draft, uh, I got the review request today. Okay. Okay. So then I wait for you to give the green light, um, or should I just move ahead and 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 um, if it doesn't get the green light, I will put a discuss myself to to make sure it's addressed. How does that sound? So what, what, do the review what? today or tomorrow? What are the interesting dates uh, for for determining when the next telejet? So, is? if I put it on, uh, if I if I request it to be added to the telechat, and if I do it by tomorrow, then it will get on uh, on the telechat next week. So the agenda is set one week before. So yeah. usually like Thursday is otherwise, if I don't do that by Thursday, then um, I guess it's three weeks and then it's uh, ITF. Um, so it will get delayed. Yeah, and we're getting into all this summer uh, inefficiency. So I would appreciate it if it would be possible to have it on the next telechat. Okay, so I, I will move ahead and I will look out for um, Klaus. A green light and a Yana green light, and if it if Klaus you see anything, of course I will uh, add it to my ballot to make sure that it's it's addressed with the other eighties comments. Does that sound good? Perfect. Sounds good to me. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now we are probably at the end of the meeting. Anything else anyone wants to raise? Then thank you everyone for today. See you at ITF 111. Thank you all. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye.